sorry, Cooper. You want a soda, Cooper? Yeah. Sorry about that. Everybody loves Tommy Cooper. <laughs> Not like you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Cooper, with a beer. They had a story about Punch's Cuck. Turn it off. Punch's Cuck was a full time vicar's mate. <laughs> He's still on a stool. Puffing at his pipe. He drew on his pipe, he drew on the walls and the ceilings and the soles of his boots. Was there no end to this man's talent? No, it was a war. France. France was at war. And to make matters worse, Pontius's mistress had been kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> and he reread the ransom note, which read as you read it. Your mistress has been well fed and molested with care. <laughs> Wrap 10 million francs on your knees, then start Nicky on top of the shepherd law and whistle to those you, yeah, yeah. Don't contact us, we'll contact you. Signed, Concrete Jim, a hardened criminal. You've got to think about these. This fair man go great with worry, with getting a rather peculiar appearance because he was bald at the time. None. He left on the phone and he spoke in fluent French. Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc, he shouted. And within minutes, sight the Marian War was stood at the door, led by a short bearded, well, not a short bearded detective who drops his hat, gloves, trousers, and boots and fired a pistol. Make sense? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Come inside, says Cat. Come inside. They go inside and they were led across a floor that was so cunningly laid that no matter where you stood, it was all on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> and they went down this darkened corridor, they went down a darkened corridor, and they found that all, all the curtains were drawn, but the rest of the stuff was real. <laughs> I like that, I like that. They got, they got my uncle Pontius. They got him in a corner and they beat him lightly with an iron bar. <laughs> oh, I said, I'm not enough, I'm not enough. My uncle said, I'm not enough. He had a son, he said, give me some more. And just as he was about to snuff it, he said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before I go, I want to say about my uncle. That's not my uncle, my uncle's uncle. That's his uncle. And he was cursed with a completely bald head. Completely bald. And every time he folded his arms, he looked like a pirate flag. <laughs> <laughs> he was cursed with this eczema. Really bad, you know, yeah, bad eczema. But it did worry him because he had a blessed by the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's all right. My uncle, because he's so bald, but this is my uncle's tape. My uncle's uncle. Get that man. He took to worry this all wind wind because he was so bald. And he said, he was so vain, he took to wearing an armor wig. And one day, a hawk swooped down out of the sky and removed it. In a hellish frenzy, my uncle threw rocks, boots, and parts of his dentures. But alas, the hawk had flown beyond his reach. Just like that. <laughs> and that was it. My uncle, he had to live without his wing. Until 20 years later, he got a letter from a Burmese naturalist <laughs> claiming that he found a hawk's nest made of an old wig. <laughs> Funny thing was, it wasn't my uncle's. That's the story of Pontius Cap. The next time I'll tell you a story about Siberian Sid. <laughs> Siberian Sid was a sock miner. I'm not going to go into it tonight. He was a sock miner and he found a seam of left footed socks. 
I'll tell you that one. I'll tell you that one another time. Thank you. Okay.